Seasons change. There are often great new menus at our Chicago restaurants and bars. Our pal Adasha Townsend is the content director and food and beverage insider, and she has a look at five new spots, including a creative cocktail lounge from a two star Michelin chef and a New Orleans inspired restaurant from a James Beard winner. Good morning. Good morning. All right, so what are we starting with? After? Yes, after is from Curtis Duffy. You just mentioned him. He's a two star Michelin chef. This restaurant is in the Fulton District, Fulton Market District. And it's opening October That's a restaurant? 27th. This is a cocktail Look at lounge. That. Very high concept. Yeah. So it feels like a galaxy. You feel like you're in the other world. But the, the real star behind this project is Michael Muser, who is the partner, the longtime partner with uh, Curtis Duffy, and he's a beverage manager. So uh, cocktails, high concept cocktails, as you can see. He also took the photos, Michael Muser. Oh, wow. But he wants to make this also a neighborhood spot. So they're also going to have craft beers and small bites. And they're going to have some caviar. Now, expect this place to win a lot of awards uh, next year. Uh, it's going to be so awesome. Wow. And um, it is reservations only. Reservations are open right now. And it's not a place where you can stand around and chatter to your friends and everything. Everybody has to sit down. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Two new restaurants in the West Loop. Yes. Uh, another one is Bombala. And Bombala is from, it's open now. And it's from the same people, the same team behind Beatnik, Bordel, Bordel and Porto. And if you know those spots, you know that they are beautiful spots all the time. Um, they have beautiful themes, usually Spanish, something exotic, lots of color. Expect the same here, but uh, this one takes the theme of the historic Silk Road. And so think, um, think accents and color schemes from India, China, Turkey. But then the food is um, European inspired, most classic dishes, European classic dishes. Like for example, I had the lobster spaghetti and it had accents of smoked red tomato curry and then they spun it around in a parmesan wheel mm. um, that was so creamy and so delicious other dishes that i really loved there were the spice uh, lamb dumplings which we fought over mm. and then they also had braised oxtail and coal fire cod they have an awesome global wine list and beautiful cocktails All it's right. a beautiful space okay all right, new place uh, for New Orleans food, Hyde Park. That's the one from uh, the Michelin, no, I'm sorry, the James Beard award-winning uh, Eric Williams. And he also owns Virtue. This is right across the street from Virtue. So as you can see, it looks like it's uh, New Orleans with the, the colors. It has lots of liveliness going on with live music occasionally, usually jazz. Um, they also have TVs planned all the time, always tuned into uh, sports, but the star are, of course, are the po' boys. So they have the classics like the uh, roast beef po' boy and the fried oyster, but then you also have fried green tomato po' boys, fried shrimp, mm. uh, catfish, fried green tomatoes. Did I say that already? And <laughs> they have alligator. Okay, I thought that was interesting, which is going to be on special order. Yeah. Then they have the classic dishes like a muffalata, uh, seafood gumbo, and then frozen hurricanes. All right. Nice. Oh, I love that. Yeah, All right. Uh, how about in the loop? Fair? Yes. Fair Fair has been around for a while, but they were in a food hall that closed. So this was an opportunity for them to open a full-scale restaurant. It's from two women, and um, it's more, it's a healthier concept. So we're talking about vegan, sustainability, uh, vegetarian dishes, breakfast and lunch. Mm -hmm. What I really love is that they have these curated bowls. You can curate them yourself. So you can do things like, uh, you can have ingredients like basil, tomato meatballs, roasted salmon, smoked pulled chicken, and then you can uh, top it with spicy red pepper or creamy tahini, and then also top it with crispy chickpeas or um, harissa sweet potatoes. Mm. All right. Mm -hmm. All right, so the last one, actually three spots going into the old uh, Southport Lanes bowling alley. I have some memories there from my uh, 20s. Oh, my so God. I can't believe that place closed. I can't either, but three Forever. places are going in there? Well, three places along the Southport oh. corridor is in that area on yeah. that same block, so they're going to be right next, adjacent to one another. The first one is Itoko, so it's a Japanese concept, and that's coming in sometime this fall. We haven't been given a date yet, and so uh, star chef Gene Cato, everybody knows him from 
from Mama Taro in mm -hmm. the West Loop. He's going to be doing um, sushi, very high concept. Did we spell that right? Is it Itoka or Itoko? Itoko. Okay. Yeah. Just so we know. And right. so that's going to be the first place again. And the beautiful, the design is going to be absolutely gorgeous. So it's going to take, it's going to be a modern take on traditional Japanese tea houses on two levels, but it's still going to feel like a casual neighborhood spot. Uh, he's really into the robotic grill, so lots of grilled meats and vegetables, uh, great sake menu, and then the last two spaces, um, I think winter and probably early spring, are going to come in are Stephanie Izard's uh, Little Gold Diner and Gigi's Chicken Shop, and okay. that's oh. Lee Wolin. And that's all four corridors booming there. All yes. right. You can find Adash at foodbeverageinsider.com and on all the socials. Good to see you again. Thank you so much for having me. All right. Me. Take care.